foray into the into the market was literally in 1970 when my father gave me Foxcast shares as a 21st and said, right, this is you keep these shares forever and a day and this is your starting deposit. Well, it was a starting deposit. It went from a value of about 6,000 Rand down up to about 25,000 Rand and put my, used it to put a deposit out of my house. But I, over the years, and bear in mind I've been around here 44 years, um, I have, I look at different people for different things. If someone says I'm a long-term investor, then I will put them into blue chips because blue chips survive. If someone says I am a gambler and really and truly at the end of the day I have enough assets and we have a whole mandate which asks question, you know, questions, you know, can you afford to, to be in the market, what are these funds that you're putting in, what do they represent out of your total um, worth. Um, we ask all the necessary questions so when they say they'd like to trade and they'd like to, if I may use the word gamble. Um, we've got a good idea that if we have picked a stock which is not going to work or they've picked a stock it's not going to work or it's going to lose the money that it, it really won't make any difference to the overall situation. So I think you, it's case by case. I never have a standard portfolio or rule. I listen to what the client wants and what his needs are. And we've seen many gamblers in our day. We've seen many people making a huge amount of money. I'm afraid to say we've also seen quite a few losing and you hate it when they lose because you've lost them they don't come back again so you try and persuade them not to put all their money in a penny stock um, rather put perhaps 50% of it in better stocks because they will survive <laughs>